What's up, cyberpunks and retro nerds? Woo! Welcome back to another edition of Neon Trash. There's a lot of motherfuckers yeah, yeah, yeah. in this beefy room because it is <laughs> Dean's beefy birthday. Whoa. It is also his movie pick. Dean, what have you got tonight, my dude? Well, I figure with all the uh, not good things happening out in the world, we need uh, some comfort food of a movie. Mm. And my favorite movie of all time just so happens to be Back to the Future 2, Great Scott. Great Scott, indeed. <laughs> Great Scott. What a pick. It's probably not the best movie ever. No, but it, it's my favorite movie anyway. I acknowledge it's not <laughs> the <laughs> finest film, but <laughs> it's the best fucking popcorn flick you can ask for, in my opinion. So it's been a while since I've actually seen this movie. I am a huge fan of director Robert Zemix. You also got Steven Spielberg producing. You got that classic... Michael J. Fox vibe. I can't wait to revisit this classic with this giant room full of beefy burping <laughs> motherfuckers like God. Burpzilla over there. Without further ado, guys, check out that trailer. Peep that shit! We'll be right back in the future. Where? Part two. Let's get this. Yeah, let's get this. We've only rented it about, oh, a dozen times already. But it's got all that adventure and all that magic. Plus, it's got Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. But what does this previously viewed sticker mean? That means you can buy a previously viewed video cassette at a low price and add it to your home library. Okay, let's buy it. Yeah! Steven Spielberg presents a Robert Zemeckis film, Back to the Future Part 2. Bring home your copy today. And we are back from watching Back to the Future Part 2. Dean, take it away, man. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's a classic movie that somehow the future is now the past for us. That blows my mind. And I kind of feel like uh, we got a lame version of the future, guys. Like in 2022, it was a lot cooler in the Back to the Future 2015, in my opinion. I don't know, it's a great movie. Uh, blast from the past. It's a great to think about it as a kid when like, you would think, what is the future going to be like? And that's what this movie has always been for me. Um, where it was just a cool vision of the future when I was a kid. And uh, even though things are kind of lame these days, like, you know, I can, you know, take a nostalgic ride down, you know, Deanie Past Lane and uh, check out Back to the Future too. It's always a good time. It's not as awesome as the first movie, mainly because it kind of hinges on this whole, like, peddling of Universal Studios and this kind of like to be continued element at the end of the movie and granted at the end of the first movie you had that cliffhanger but I don't know it didn't feel as bad as it did with this film uh, halfway through the movie I did say to everyone here that the ambition of this film as a sequel was kind of impressive because you know you had the future you had the nightmarish present and then you had the hark back the 1950s so the scope from a cinematic point of view uh, was definitely vast but is it as good as part one probably not this this whole trilogy is actually um, I don't know kind of funny like I'm trying to think of other movies that like so purposely led into you know they obviously hinted at a sequel in the first one they do it again here obviously you know play that hit again it was a hit one time it'll work again you know but I mean it was it's kind of like you know, copies rolling off a machine that you, you know, they get a little faded with time. So they're, I mean, yeah, good together, but they kind of, eh, I mean, maybe the third one. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was <laughs> I like the third one. It, it, it was still super campy and fun. You yeah. know, like it, it was good to watch it. It was a fun ride. I probably haven't seen it since I like first saw this, like fucking 30 some years ago, honestly. Like, so it was finally, it was, it was good, overdue for a rewatch. I haven't seen these movies in a long time. I enjoyed them when they came out. It was all great when we watched it for another time. I've seen it a million times, but that's because it's so good. And it's always good to go back to. And I agree with Dean. This future seems a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah, I want a pizza rehydrator. Oh, me too, I want a pizza rehydrator and a fruit dispenser. Yeah, dude, it would be awesome to press a button and just get fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. um, Alrighty, so... <laughs> I. <laughs> um, Take it from there, BC. Yeah. Uh, 
I watched the first Back to the Future a long time ago uh, when I was really little. I don't remember that much of it. I don't know, maybe the premise like went a little thin after a while. I mean, there's only, there's only so much time jumping in Great Scott's before I'm like, it's getting, it's getting a little bit <laughs> old, guys. <laughs> Obviously, I'm the only one here, but this is my first Back to the Future viewing. Yeah. Who's working? I haven't yeah. even seen the first one. <laughs> or the third, obviously. But Jeez, we'll so start in the middle. I have even <laughs> less nostalgia, but I love the 80s. I love some new wave and any kind of 80s music. So this was pretty cool and I liked it, but I think I would enjoy the first one. But... Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to watch a little bit of the first one. Too. Yeah, I, I got to watch it a little out of order, but that's okay. You caught but... the good stuff, I think. Well, I mean, I, I said before that this is my favorite movie of all time, and it's still my favorite movie of all time. It makes me feel so good inside. Like, uh, I guess it makes me long for a different day, but uh, it's a 10 for me. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Okay. The first movie, self-contained. You know what I'm saying? And so if I'm going to give that film a 10, and it's a shame that we're not reviewing that, because I feel like you could say all of that, you could even say that the sequel is pretty good while reviewing the first movie. And that's how I feel about it. You know, the first film, maybe a 10 out of a 10, classic 1980s, feel good, new, new wave movie. The sequel, not so much. I'm going to give this one here, uh, I'm going to go flat 7. Rocket. Hmm, man, second one. <laughs> Number two. One of those. Um, uh, you know, I could give this a couple of star cows. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. That <laughs> <laughs> again. I'm gonna give one star cow. Like, it was. You a haven't fun... been back more than one day. <laughs> <laughs> I will give this 6.5. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm give it a 1 15 off. <laughs> Hated it. No, Hated it. No. I'll give it a, I'll give it a 6. This is a good, you're sick, lay it down, you turn it on, and it's just there. Comforting you. No, I like that idea. Fair enough. It's a bit of a blanket. Uh, yeah, I like I said, I feel like there are some fun moments. It's just a shame that those fun moments get repeated until they're not fun anymore. So for me, it's, it's I'd say like a six. It's better than a lot of other movies, but I don't love it. I would say a seven. I think it's a Simply because I have not seen the first one and I'm coming in on the second one having no idea what it's about and no context, I feel like I'm probably going to give it a five because everyone knew the references or like who was who and that kind of thing and I just walked in like, okay, I have no idea who this person is or whatever. So it was like just thrown into the walking in. Yeah, I enjoyed one too. I mean, Sorry, yeah, everybody. It's like, it's like walking into a two-hour movie and only watching the second half of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no, so yeah, I don't know what happened in the beginning, so I'll just figure it out. But I ruined that but, right thing. But yeah, I think if I would have watched the first one before, it, it probably would have been a little bit better, but yeah. that's just personal. Great, Scott. I guess we got to be to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> we should review the first movie and go back to the future. Whoa! Whoa!